Steve, you know, Rocky Waters, I guess, this is the first time there hasn't been a joint communique since APEC began. Yeah, Rocky Waters. Choppy Waters, definitely not the love boat, the Pacific choppy Explorer. Waters. There was lots of, <laughs> yeah, Choppy Waters. A lot of contention, of course, uh, as uh, Mike Pence and Xi Jinping spoke back to back uh, on that ex Pacific Explorer. Really, the battle lines between the two giants uh, of the world uh, being underlined here on issues of global trade, on the World Trade Organization, even on the Belt and Road Initiative. And the Prime Minister of Papua New Guinea, who you see there in the middle, the yellow shirt, one of the yellow shirts. Peter O'Neill, he says the entire world is worried. And keep in mind, APEC nations and economies make up uh, about half the world trade, 60 percent of global GDP. Uh, and those 21 economic blocks or nations, uh, they are in the crossfires between the G2, if you want to call them that, China and the United States. They rely on trade and they were not able to put out a communique. Let's hear from the two main players over this weekend in Port Moresby, that being Xi Xi Jinping and Mike Pence. Mankind has once again reached a crossroads. Which direction should we choose? Cooperation or confrontation? Openness or closing one's door? Win-win progress or zero-sum game? The interest of all countries and the future of mankind hinges on the choices we make. The United States, though, will not change course until China changes its ways. Let me make this clear. The Belt and Road Initiative is an open platform for cooperation. It is guided by the principles of the consultation and cooperation for a share of the benefit. It is not designed to serve any hidden geopolitical agenda. It is not targeted against anyone and it does not exclude anyone. We know that the United States offers a better option. We don't drown our partners in sea of debt. We don't coerce or compromise your independence. The United States deals openly and fairly. We do not offer a constricting belt or a one-way road. When you partner with us, we partner with you, and we all prosper. Now, those sound bites pretty much summed up the mood there at the Marquee Theater aboard the Pacific Explorer. In fact, uh, a U.S. official is telling Bloomberg News, why did the communique fall apart and not issue? Well, they say that China apparently objected to a pledge uh, for all the APEC members to fight against all unfair practices, uh, some verbiage that the other 20 members uh, agreed to, but China did not. There was also a report from uh, AFP that the Chinese delegation, or some of them, actually stormed the offices of the foreign ministry in Papua New Guinea, which was drafting up the communique to sort of a strong arm China's uh, influence on that final communique. Police were reportedly called, but again, I must emphasize China says that was a story that was made up uh, by parties who are trying to influence the narrative. I'm not really surprised that you saw this rift between China and the U.S. We know that Vice President Pence has been driving the hardline rhetoric against China, especially after his speech at the conservative Hudson Institute yes. back in October, right? So is there at this point any sign that we could get some sort of breakthrough at the G20? Well, everyone's looking for signs, right? We do know that the two gentlemen, Trump and Xi, will likely meet uh, at the G20. But again, we got signals on Friday or late last week as the markets rebounded in the United States that perhaps uh, the Chinese and the U.S. officials behind the scenes were working hard to reach some sort of a deal. Perhaps they could avoid the increase in tariffs from the United States in January. But again, after personally experiencing this uh, at APEC and, you know, the really under Lying the battle lines, uh, there doesn't seem to be a lot of concession. You heard from Mike Pence there saying, we're not going to change our course until China changes. So they're, they're getting down to stubbornness right now.